الوكيل المعتمد والحصر في العراق مجموعة الأجراس Ford, USA, Chinese, European, or Japanese. Well, there's Daiyu, Sanyong as well, Hyundai and Kia. We're going to Japanese. Loads the program. We're going to Asian Vehicle Diagnosis, Japanese Vehicle Diagnosis. And we're working on a Nissan today. If we scroll down to Nissan, you can see all the other vehicles there. Then we enter Nissan. And of course, what we've got to do is just scroll through down through the pages till we get to pick up because we're working on the the Pathfinder Nissan D40 pickup it's uh, a 2006 vehicle then we have the choice of ECUs from the vehicle we're going to start with engine nice and simple press forward to go forward very simple to use choice of diagnostic connectors to use for the older models but we're using 16 pin so we go in then we have the connection screen so we're told roughly where to connect it, which is where we are connected. Go forward again, and now we're communicating with the engine ECU. So you'll need to have the ignition on when you're doing this, of course. So now we're into the ECU, and you've got your choice of functionality. So the first place we can go is into diagnostic trouble codes. See if there are any error codes on the vehicle. And luckily, as it's my car, there aren't any. Live data, as they call it, current data. This is current data, which takes a few seconds to load. You can see live data now, clearly on the screen. Obviously, the engine isn't running on this vehicle at the moment. We can go down the page. So now we're going to turn the engine on so we can see live data values. So we now see RPM values. And if we wanted to uh, graph any of these, we can just fix them and then graph them. Now obviously clearly you're seeing the graph, it's static. Yeah, so what you're seeing now is a graphical representation of the engine uh, RPM from the uh, crankshaft sensor. We're just seeing one item at a time now. Of course if we go back and we fix another value We can now see two at the same time. So you're seeing the relative values between the accelerator position sensor and the crankshaft sensor. And you can graph up to four, four items at a time, but you can only see two on the screen at a time. Come back out of live data. So we'll turn the engine off now and show you some of the other functions. Just go down into actuation test quickly. We can do all the door locks. So if I press start, which is the F1 key, you can hear it operating. And we can scroll down. We can just do all the doors unlocking. Driver's door on its own. And so on and so forth. Come back out of activations. And we can see the uh, wiper stalk operating the system but if we come out and we go into actuation test we can take over the control of the ECU and we can make the wipers work through the ECU directly avoiding the switch gear and that was high speed headlamps and high beam so here it is the common scan light diagnostic trouble codes live data, flight data recording, graphing, some programming. Incredibly comprehensive coverage for the Asian Japanese market, including Korean vehicles. Good European coverage, all in one tool. That's the Karma Scan Live.